Okay, let me let me just break something down. So we have the attorney speaking today, our side. Can't believe that one. Um, as far as the the, uh, he was basically saying that they would have gotten the temporary injunction. They would have uh, not sought the, the the permanent injunction at the end, the last hearing, to get you know to lock it down. Um, they would have uh, you know negotiated the settlement so that we you know the common sh uh, shareholders. Will, you know, would have, have received something. But here's the thing that kills me. In his way of thinking and logic, he's saying, well, you know, you know, it, it, the other side will say that Ape was a dividend and it was free. Um, but then he, our side, our attorney is technically saying, no, um, Ape was a lower, uh, a, a lower position of AMC Common. Ape was not a new, uh, a new stock. And I'm thinking to myself, like, was it a dividend? Was it a, was it a common? Was it a, a new stock? Like, they're going in circles around here. First, the, he's saying that AMC is going to say that it was free, that it was just splitting the position. Um, but the reality was that not Ape, Ape is functionally on its own. That's a, its own thing. So it's a dividend. It's a preferred equity unit. It's a smaller version of AMC. Uh, but all this was done, but Antara had to agree to say yes to voting it backwards. Does anybody fucking see how fucking crazy this is? This is not just me. I know there are tons of motherfuckers in the know that are going, oh, these motherfuckers, look at what they're painting here. What about all the communication going back and forth? And how all this was staged? Oh, no, but we're worried. If we would have got the injunction, AMC was in financial hardship and they could have gone into bankruptcy. Oh, really? They could have gone into bankruptcy. Give me a fucking break. I'm going to lunch now.